Hi guys, Donna Lady Clouds here. Today I will be doing another juice review for the night. I did not change my lighting yet, but maybe I will. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. So we have today Blind Pig Vapors de Luciano. It is a caramelized pears infused with brandy. We have Dr. Fogg's BC Fog Blueberry Cotton Candy, who could resist. And 12 Monkeys Congo Custard. As you can tell, I have very little left, but it is so tasty. I don't think I've done a review on this one yet. I know I've done one on their Kanzi, and I'm so disappointed that that bottle's gone. And I haven't bought another glass bottle since, so we'll see. I might one day, because it is so good. So first we're going to start off with 12 Monkeys Congo Custard, and it's a strawberry custard, and it's a really delightful vape, and it's been steeping for almost three months, so it's probably really good too now. Cause I had to leave it for a review. So with the inhale you get that nice custard but not too powerful of a custard and it's just so delectable. And then with the exhale you get that nice light strawberry at the end and it's just so subtle but so creamy at the same time and it's just one that you have to get. Uh, I like all 12 Monkeys juices that I have tried. I just i am really disappointed that every single bottle I've bought has leaked. So that's kind of sad. But we're not going to get into that topic because I really hate glass bottles. So now we are going to do BC Fog from Dr. Fog. And this one, I have been searching for true cotton candy. This won't open for me. There we go. Almost couldn't review it. I've been searching for a true cotton candy, and this unfortunately wasn't it. It's been mostly blueberry for me. I can't taste any of that cotton candy like as I imagine I could when I was a kid, you know? that sweet kind of, I can't even explain it. It's just, everybody knows that cotton candy flavor that you used to get when you were a kid in those candies or whatever, cotton candy, like the actual stuff or whatever, but you can't find that nowadays in a vape. And I'm really disappointed if you guys can find me one, send it to me and I will review it and I will tell you my thoughts on it because I've yet to have to find a real cotton candy. Cloud density is amazing with these juices. They're all Max VG. Everything that I have lately is Max VG, so I'm not even gonna have to say it anymore. I don't go for the peachy peachy mixes, so Max VG it is, no matter what. And cloud density is great. All I can taste is blueberry with a slight kind of like candy sweetness at the end, but it's a, like fake blueberry. It's not that real blueberry, but it's also really good. Like if you love a blueberry vape like I do, you will love this juice as well. And I've been trying to save this one as well. I've been trying to save a lot of juices for reviews and I wanted to do them all together in like certain lineups and stuff, but I never did that. As you can see, my nails are all different. Um, so yeah, it's just a really sweet, sweet blueberry vape. If you like blueberries, definitely get this one. Everything from Dr. Fogg and Premium Labs is amazing though, so if you haven't tried them, definitely try them because I highly recommend them. They are just one of the top Canadian juice makers and just they are amazing. They do such, they're so, their customer service is amazing. They're great. They send their stuff to amazing shops and then you get to meet all these really cool people. So I highly recommend going and trying their juices or just even searching them out and you never know who you'll meet or what you'll do. Next is the Luciano. The pear, caramelized pear with brandy. And I didn't really pick up on the brandy with this one. It was more of the pear, but I'm not exactly sure what brandy extract is supposed to taste like or what it tastes like as a product. I like the flavoring on its own, so I don't know. I've had real brandy and it doesn't taste like real brandy, so. So it's definitely pear, and then you get like this, and in the inhale you get this kind of like burning sensation, like you're kind of having a shot, which is kind of weird. I don't really like that. 
but to each their own. If you like having a vape that's like a shot, go for it. Um, it's very sweet. I do like pears, but I'm not really a pear vapor. When I first started vaping, I was all about the pears, but I think I just outdid myself. <laughs> because, yeah, no pears for me anymore. You can taste the caramelization of the of the pears though and the you can kind of get like this caramel caramel taste in in the juice there so it's a very nice juice it's for me personally i'd like to water the flavor down a little bit more and then it might be more of an all-day vape for me but it might just be the pears that kind of sets me off but everything is subjective i am these are my personal takes on everything so if you like pears go for it because it's also it's a really good juice everything that I've tried from the blind pig line is really good the Rocco and I can't remember all the names but the Rocco is definitely one that stuck with me I think that one's my favorite from the line there but yeah so thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys again like comment follow subscribe and I'll put everything in the description below and have a good night happy vapors guys